Summer festivals are a time for people to get together, be happy, celebrating the summer, being with family and friends, or just enjoying the festivities. It's great for people to come together in their community. Expecting a tragedy to occur during a summer festival is not something that comes to mind. It is especially true when eating the food prepared by a woman. We will be discussing Masumi Hayashi, who killed four people and poisoned 63 with a communal pot of curry during a summer festival. On July 25th, 1988, in the Sanobi district of Wakayama in Japan, a summer festival was occurring. 37-year-old Masumi Hayashi made a communal pot of curry and placed it for participants to eat. What people didn't know was that she added at least a thousand grams of arsenic, which is enough to kill over a hundred people. 63 people suffered from acute arsenic poisoning, as well as four people died. Two children and two adults. They were 64-year-old Takatoshi Taninaka, 53-year-old Takaki Tanaka, 10-year-old Hirotaka Hayashi, and 16-year-old Miyuki Tori. Witnesses quickly pointed out Masumi Hayashi. Her husband was an exterminator, so it was easy for her to get as much arsenic as she wanted. However, who would think that she would add this to the curry? When she was arrested, tidbits of her life started to come out. Masumi had been an insurance saleswoman. It was found that she had participated in a number of insurance fraud. It was also found that she tried to kill her husband in the past, as well as attempting to kill three others. All were to get insurance money. Masumi claimed she was innocent, but her motive for poisoning the communal pot of curry was came out later on in the trial. It was that she was angry at her neighbors for shunning her family and her. The court found her guilty and sentenced her to death in 2002. Masumi tried appealing, but the death sentence was upheld. On April 21, 2009, the Supreme Court of Japan rejected her final appeal. Even as late as April 2017, Masumi Hayashi continues to appeal her death sentence. In 1999, the 38 victims who were poisoned but survived, sued Hayashi for 107.5 yen. In 2003, the families of three of the four victims who passed away sued her for 30 million yen. I couldn't find if any of them won their lawsuits, but in reality, they all lost their loved one, so even all the money in the world couldn't bring them back. The worst part about this case is that it sprung a bunch of copycats who started poisoning all over Japan due to the infamy of Masumi Hayashi. Well, what did you think about this case? Do you believe that she's innocent? This whole time she continues to say that she is, but they did find the arsenic the one that matched what was in the curry at her house. So I'm not sure if she is very innocent. I do know that her husband was also charged with the insurance fraud and he was sentenced to six years. I don't think that she is going to be put to death um, because the Japanese courts are actually looking to stop the death sentence from happening. But as long as she remains, in prison, I think that everyone is safe.
haven't subscribed, please do so now and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time there is a new video. And I will see you next week.